Meron dyan sa harap. Baba yung iba. Yan. Dyan sa baba. Yan. Mahihiyaan ako kayo. Kayo mahihiyaan. There you go. Mahihiyaan eh. Mahihiyaan kayo. Totoo ba yun? Very shy. Very shy. before us are as follows uh, sins it's the lack of self-denial the sin that focusing more to ourselves rather listening hearing knowing the will of God towards us and letting God to do the works for us number two is the lack of unconditional surrender sin of not fully surrendering to God before doing the will of God we always or sometimes compromise with God by putting conditions and terms before we obey or follow the will or task that set for us. Number three is lack of believing. Sin of unbelief. We Christians sometimes ask God why He let us pass through torments, trials, hardship, or tests and we seldom forget that with God all things are possible and with purpose and with purpose with regards in molding us to be a successful runner. The number four is the scene of sacrificial living. Scene of sacrificial living meaning giving up the things, ideas, and attitudes of Christians that affects our Christian lives in running the race. Not letting 
or not letting go the hindrances that affects the weight of convenience with regards to our time, space, and comfort zone, the way of comparison with regards to the words, the things, or people, or our surroundings that result you to have a negative attitudes and ungrateful behavior. And the other one is the way of weight of conception. It pertains to the worldly philosophies, devising plans or ideas that against our personal belief. These are the sins and hindrances of our lives that are or the hurdles that makes us a successful runner and the reason why we even ask God, are you with me while I'm running with this race that lay or set before us? And, and because of this attitude, we do it or we sometimes do it without God and set aside God or blinded ourselves and forget that. Let us run the race for us and He is with us as He promised and assure us that the presence of God is always throughout with us till we finish the race. That's Amen. Hello. Um, so this year is my first time at the Women's uh, like Women's Jubilee, and um, I branched off from one sec like section of the team to like the teens yeah. teens group, and I think um, the speaker uh, really hit on like topics that's like relatable to me as. A person who is always on the internet or like watching yeah. TV, <laughs> and um, she she first told us that it's natural for our human flesh to sin, and it's natural for us to follow the group and like conform to things, but that doesn't justify the reason why we should sin or how she explained it. Sin is something that leads you off the track of your path towards Him. Mm -hmm. And um, the way she explained it like made clear sense to me. And um, not only that, she talks about the weights that we carry, like sin, but other things that are not even that harmless, but are sin. For example, like... Um, <laughs> Social media is, and like our own notifications on our phone can be a weight for us. Um, of course, you don't want to run a race with like carrying a sack of rice. Like you don't want to carry that weight when you like run towards Jesus. And um, we should just focus on Him instead of ourselves because even now today. Self affirmation is um, popular and is all around us, but we need to focus on God instead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.